Kraft. Hello, Asalia. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Aún en el trabajo? Aún, teacher. Sale tarde. Sí, no, no tengo horario de salida. Wow. Solo de entrada. Sí, de entrada sí tengo. A la una entro. Ah, ok. Por eso. Por eso le toca salir de adecito, así. Sí, así toca. Ok. Hello, Mayra. Welcome. Mayra. Hello. Hello. Mayra. How are you, Mayra? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, welcome. Good evening.
Okay. We are still waiting for the rest of the class. Okay, let me see. Emerson is there too. We have only yes, five people here. We are still waiting for the rest. I need to turn. Hello. Hello. Okay, and now Victoria is coming too. Welcome, Anna Victoria.
Okay, let me see how many. Ten. Okay, we are going to stand now. I'm going to check up the attendance. And the rest they are going to add during the, the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Don Alejandro. Ayer salió tarde de trabajar, ¿cierto? Sí, ayer salió tarde. Por eso no pude. Lo puse ahí un mensaje ahí en el... Sí, sí, el lo chat. vimos, lo vimos, lo vimos. No voy a poder. Sí. Por ahí lo vimos. Ahí estamos ya listos, teacher. Eso me llega, eso me llega. Okay, let me see what we're going to do today. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Carlos is there too. Ismael, Ingrid, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, here we go. Let me see here. Okay, Alejandra Elizabeth is there? Yes, teacher. I'm there. Okay, welcome. Hey, Ana Victoria? Present teacher. Okay. Hey, Asalia? Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Brenda Ivet. Natalie. 
Carlos. Hello, I'm here. Okay, welcome. Diana. Present teacher. Okay. Edith. Edith. Emerson. I hear teacher. Okay. Francisco Javier. Pues en Okay. Ingrid. Present teacher. Okay. Ismael Ernesto. I'm here. Okay, Jose Alejandro. I present teacher. <laughs> Julia Janet. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Sandra Ivet. Sandra Ivet. Sonia Esmeralda. No han llegado aún. Ivet, creo que es Ivet is coming, I guess. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay. everybody. Good evening. It is with Brenda Ivet. Okay, it's not Brenda Ivet. Brenda Ivet Moreno, cierto. Okay. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Teacher venía corriendo a la clase de hoy porque yo me quedé con que hoy nos va a despejar la duda entre yeah. la diferencia entre el need, el I need y el I have. Yes, it's good. Today. Today is going to be that day. We are going to start with these slides. Okay, before to start the class, we are going to do the following activity. Have you played Simon Says? You are going to do what I'm going to say, okay? You can see the picture here. If I say clap, you are going to clap. If I say uh, raise your hand, you are going to raise your hand. But I need to see all the, the cameras on. Al menos los que no van conduciendo o que no están trabajando pueden tener su cámara encendida. Si alguno por algún motivo no lo puede hacer, ok, no problem. All right. Okay, Simon says, raise your hands. Raise your hand. No hemos comprendido el juego, creo. Estamos jugando, Simon dice. Okay, but, but I want to uh, that you move your, move your hands in this way, you know.
Okay. Um, I got two hands. Okay. Simon said, um, put down your hands. Okay. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, open your eyes. Simon says, touch your nose. Touch your nose. Only two, three, four. Solo cuatro o cinco entendieron el mensaje. Okay. Simon says, Wave your hand, wave your hand. Wave your hand is this. <laughs> okay, yo sé que van, vienen cansados de manejo, de trabajo. Ay, no va a poner a movernos. <laughs> Sometimes it's really difficult, you know. Como yo ahorita no puedo poner la cámara, ahí le mando las. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is what I, what I was I Okay, let us switch a little bit in order that you can uh, do something else related with the language. Okay, it's something really easy that we are going to do now. In order to start. But because the colors may be kind of difficult for you. Um, Okay, hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. There, uh, I don't know. Let me see if you can open the link. But I guess it's going to be better if I show you here. There are more way right here. Okay. Okay, we are going to do it together, right? In order that we can do it in a hurry. Lo vamos a hacer juntos para poder hacer más rápido. Okay, right here we are going to work together. Aquí lo vamos a hacer un favor más rápido. Okay, I got get got got. Which one is in Spanish? Alguien que me lo mencione? 
¿Cuál será? Traer. Get. Okay, let us. I'm going to click right here. You are going to see if it is right or not. Uh uh, uh uh. Dar t shirt. Okay, another one, another one. Bring Brad okay. Brad. Okay, no sé quién está levantando la mano, pero. Teacher. Hello. Es. Perme, eh, ya le digo cuál es. No, oh, pero, pero, pero. Bring Brad Brad. Conseguir o llegar, teacher. Really? Eh, conseguir o llegar. Ah, no. Bring Brad. Brad. Ok. Traer, teacher. No, está bien. Mm. Somebody else, somebody else, you can give him a hand. Le pueden dar una manito también. Traer. Traer, Okay. Okay, traer. What about this one? Choose Shah's children. Elegir. It is? Elegir. Okay. This one, okay. Charlie? What about this one? Feed, fat, fat. Sentir, teacher. Mm. Feed. Fair, fair. Alimentar, teacher. Ah, ah. ah alimentar. Okay. La verde. Okay, this one. Fall, fell, fallen. Fair, fair. teacher. Okay, give, gave, given. Dar. 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 Okay. Grow, group, ground. Crecer. Crecer, cultivar. Crecer. Crecer, teacher. Okay. Find, found, found. Encontrar. Draw, drew, drown. Dibujar, teacher. Okay, the next one. Bill, built, built. Okay. Construir. And then the last one. Sentir. Feel, felt, felt. And the last one is. Get, got, got. Get, got, got. Aquí le hace falta. Okay, and that way you are going to keep in mind some new pair for you, maybe. De esa manera van a mantener en sus mentes algunos verbos que tal vez sean nuevos para algunos. Okay, we are going to start.
And I have to clarify your doubts related with this. But we are going to continue talking about the, the topic that we studied yesterday, and we are going to make a review that I hope that can help you to understand better this topic. As you can see there, okay, the first thing that you need to have in mind is this. We use have to to express obligation. When something is necessary in the present or in the future. Ese concepto creo que está bastante claro, ¿no? Que vamos a usar el have to para expresar obligación cuando algo es necesario. Ya sea en el presente o en el future. Yes? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, vamos a ir slowly, despacio, porque quiero que quede muy claro con él. Ok, take a look at the example that I have. The boys had to study her. The boys has, has to study her. It's an obligation. The boy has to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's not a need, it's an obligation. Okay, could you mention at least two more sentences related with uh, voice? Podrían agregar por lo menos dos oraciones más referentes a obligaciones de los chicos. Hello. Have, the boy had two homework every ahí day. No, ahí no faltó el verbo. Falta un verbo. The boy has to. Después de aquí, siempre lo right. Será right o será do. Do. <coughs> Do their homework. Ok, los chicos tienen que hacer su tarea. Ok, muy bien. Ok, what else? ¿Qué más? Give me another example, please. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, it's correct. The boy how to play the games. Será una obligación que los chicos jueguen. Ahí, ahí es donde comenzamos ya a ver qué son las cosas que realmente van a usar have to, las que sean obligación. Ok, uh, Carlos, 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 dime, Carlos. The boys have to pay attention in their class. Ah, ok, perfect. The boys has to pay attention in the class. Ok, muy bien, excelente. Sure. La? Um, the boy have to go to school from Monday to Friday. Ah, okay, muy bien. The boy has to go to school from Monday to Friday. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you. Se dan cuenta, eso, eso, esos ejemplos, esos ejemplos van bien claritos. Okay, another one. I need that all of you participate. Hello. Teacher. Hello. The boy has to dressing or dress uh, five o'clock. Get dressed. Get dressed. I guess. Get dressed. Yeah, the boy, or you can. Uh, 
Also, we can use uh, the daily routine with that too. Uh, For example, uh, if you say the boy, the boys have to wake up at five o'clock. For example. Uh, okay. okay. Somebody else wants to uh, uh, another example. Alguien más quiere agregar un ejemplo? Hello, hello. No. No? Okay. Everything clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Let me move it forward. Okay, we have here the affirmative sentences. How we are going to create it? Okay, first we need to have uh, the subject. That could be I, you, we, they. Then we need to have a have to or has to, all the pen. Which one of them I had to use with he, she, and it? ¿Cuál de estos dos tengo que usar con he, she, and it? Tell me. Has. Ah, okay. Has to. Has to. Okay, take a look. And I, I and I have an example. You have to arrive on time to classes. You have to arrive on time to classes. It's mandatory. Okay, well, what about the next one? Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stop here. Each unit is going to use has to. Example, she has to brush her teeth every day. Okay, uh, now I need to give me some example using the daily routine, but only one, please. As soon as you participate, uh, mute your microphone in order to avoid the feedback. Tan pronto termine su participación, le pido cierre su micrófono para que no nos genere un feedback. Okay, ahí tenemos. Y I don't know if you want to take a screenshot or, or if you want to take notes about this. This is the structure that you are going to use. The subject plus has to or has to plus the verb plus complement. And I, I got this uh, right here. This for one, I'm going to use it with the have to. And this three one, I'm going to use it with has to. Okay, let us start. Somebody that create one sentence using I, I had to. Another one is going to tell me uh, using you have to. Somebody else is going to say uh, we have to and they have to. And later on, somebody else is going to create one uh, using she, another using he, another using it. Es decir, solo aquí tenemos siete personas que participen. Ok, who wants to start? ¿Quién inicia? Hello. And you can relate uh, this situation to your workplace if you want. Usted puede relacionar estas oraciones que va a crear a su ambiente de trabajo. Hola. Hello. Hello, teacher. Yes. I think. Okay, Mayra. Let's start with I.
हेलो हेलो ओके आई नीड द फर्स्ट पर्सन The first one is going to create a sentence using I. Teacher. Hello. Example. Um, you have to finish the report of today. Okay. You have to finish the report today. Okay. Okay, perfect. What about I? Somebody wants to create another one using I? Me, teacher, oh. I, I have to pay um, kindergarten each month. Okay, I had to pay the tuition. Listen this word. I had to pay the tuition in the kindergarten. Tuition is la, como la colegiatura, no? A eso se refiere, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok, I had to pay the tuition of kindergarten every month. Ok, perfecto. Vayan anotando esos ejemplos, por favor. Ok, somebody else, somebody else, please. We already have you and I. Ok. I'm going to make a circle. Voy a hacer un círculo a lo que ya usamos. Okay, continue. Somebody else. We, oui, we. Oui. Hello. Hello. Um, we have to make a report. Okay. Hello? Yes, yes, you are doing right. Okay. Reyes, Reyes, me está reportando que tiene problemas con conexión porque llueve, dice. Bueno, que dicha que esté yo. Wow. It is raining in, in the area, but not here. Okay, thank you. We have to write the report. Okay. Okay, what about they? They. They has, they has to work in, in group. Uh, they had to work, they had to work in work, group. Work, uh, okay. Uh, uh, even though uh, the best way is, the best way is uh, this, they had to work in teams. Yes. La mejor forma sería They have to work in teams. Ellos tienen que trabajar en equipo. Es una orden. Ok. We finish with this line. What about she? Who wants to create one? She. Come on, you can do it. She has to sleep early. She has to sleep early. Si no se duerme temprano, something happened, right? Okay. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más?
Another example. Hello. Otro ejemplo. He has to need a working. Mm, he has to to need a working. Okay, let, let, let me let me try to to do it in a better way. He he ha has to need a working. Okay, in Spanish, tell me in Spanish your idea. Eh, él necesita trabajar. Ah, pero ahí ya nos pasamos al verbo need. Ne uh, ah, y ya. A y eso lo. Y ahorita solo estamos con la de obligación. Oh. Oh. <risa> ya nos vemos muy adelante, teacher. Sí, sí, claro. Se fue muy adelante. Ah, oh, bueno. Ok, tranquilo, tranquilo. Ahí vamos aprendiendo, teacher. Ok, ok. Ok, remember, remember, I'm going back right here. Let me show you again. Me regreso. Me, teacher. Ok, hold on, let me embrace this. Circle that I have. Solo voy a borrar los círculos. Me regreso otra vez al concepto que dijimos. We use have to to express obligation when something is necessary. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, tell 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 me your your example, please. Tell me. Hello. Alguien me iba a dar un ejemplo más. Come on, teacher. Don't so, have fear. A lady, a lady was uh, trying to tell me another example. I try, teacher. Okay, somebody else, tell me, or you can do it. Okay, let me move, let me move forward because cause of the time. Okay, uh, we already studied uh, the structure that we are going to use in order to create these sentences. Okay, cerremos por favor micrófonos si no lo vamos a necesitar, please. Okay, I already explained this too. Don't forget that you are going to use I, you, we, and they with have to. And you are going to use he, she, and it with has, has to. Okay, try to keep in mind, please. Okay, this is the negative part. Don't have to. And say, so we use don't have to to express absence of obligation when something is not necessary to do. Comprendemos esa parte. Hello? My goodness. Okay. I don't know what, what is happening. I don't know if you... Maybe you are taking notes. Quizás están tomando nota, por eso no me responden. ¿Es así? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. I'm, go I'm going to give you some uh, some minutes in order that you can take notes. Okay, mm -hmm. again, again, we use don't have to to express absence of obligation. 
when something is not necessary to do. Cuando algo no es necesario hacerlo. Entonces voy a usar don't have to. Ok, let me move a little bit. Me muevo un poquito. Ok, take a look at this example. But who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? ¿Quién desea leerlo? Ok, teacher. Uh, this in Spanish or English? Not in English. <laughs> the children do, do house to go to school. Today is Saturday. Ah, ok. Vea, vea lo que sucede ahí. The children don't have to go to school. Come on. It's Saturday. Ok. ¿Se comprende el ejemplo? Yes, teacher. What about the rest? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Ok, 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 ok. Okay, take a look at the next one. Who wants to read it? She doesn't have to eat all the fruit. Okay. Significa entonces que? Ella no está comiendo toda la fruta. Que ella no está obligada a comerse toda la fruta. Ah. Sí. Ella no tiene que comerse toda la fruta. No hay una obligación, no es necesario, ¿sí? Pero ahí nos metemos en camisa de once por mencionar esa palabra, necesario. So, let us continue. Ok, this is uh, some example how we are going to create negative sentences. Uh, you need to keep the, this structure with you. También necesito esta estructura con usted porque uh, in the platform you are going to resolve some exercise related with this. In the platform you are going to, to, to rearrange something like that. Okay, this is the structure that you are going to do. To use, I'm sorry. Okay, take a look at this. I, you, we, and they is going to use done. Done. This is, yeah, this is the same group of personal pronoun that you wrote before. Estos son el mismo grupo de pronombres personales que usted escribió antes que iba acompañado con have to. And right here we have an example. ¿Quién me lee el ejemplo? Only one, please. No more than one. Me teacher. Okay. We don't, we don't have to get up early on Sunday. Okay. We don't have to get up early on Sunday. Teacher, lo mismo siempre. Eh, no estamos obligados a levantarnos temprano el sábado. Así es. Ok. Y si trabajamos el sábado. Ah, no, teacher. It's quite different, you know. No, but in this case, we are not talking about Saturday. We are talking about Sunday. No estamos hablando de sábado. Estamos hablando de Sunday. Desde el lunes. Sunday. Yes, teacher. Yes. At least does somebody work on Sunday? It's like me, me. Like me. In my case, I had to get up early on Saturday. In my case. Of course, okay. in, in the public school, I work from Monday to Friday. Yes. Or extras. But uh, I work in a private institution on Saturday. And sometimes I work Sunday too.
Okay, what about the next example? She, he, or it doesn't. Example. Who wants to read? Quien lo lee? Hello? Me, teacher. Okay, read it, read it, please. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Okay, it's almost the same. He doesn't. He doesn't have to get up early on Sunday. Ojo, ojo aquí. Aquí hay algo. Revisen eso, por favor. Ahí hay algo que los puede confundir. Revisen. You need to make a contrast. Si no lo encuentran, no se lo digo para no confundirlos, pero si lo encuentran, sí. Tell me. Sí. Eh, no, la diferencia nomás. Si yo solo son los. Pero para los we are you eh, siempre se ocupa el don. Ahora para el he, she y el it. El dasen. Pero okay. ahí todo va normal, teacher. Ok. When, when it's negative, cuando es negativa, ojo. Uh -huh. When the sentence is negative, you are going to use an auxiliary. Como está usando un auxiliar, en este caso es dasen. El verbo, cuando va con he, she and it, no tiene ¿Cuál? ningún cambio. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo el auxiliar acá, miren. Pero si la oración fuese positiva, entonces sería error dejarla que diga he had to, sino que tendría que ser como. He has to. He has to. Ah, ok. Porque es lo que cambia el pronombre, el verbo. Ok, cuando no hay un auxiliar. But when I have an auxiliary, like do. The inflection is here. We don't need to have it here. Only one. Entonces, cuando ya tengo usando el do, este es el auxiliar. Entonces, solo con este auxiliar basta para hacer el cambio. No puedo estarlo haciendo ya con el siguiente. Okay, revisen eso and ask me, please. If you don't have a question, so far from here, I can continue. Si no hay preguntas, yo puedo seguir. Just let me know, please. No one question. example, Tisha. Okay. One example. Um, different. Different example. Yes. Okay. Okay. Using the first group or the second one? ¿Lo quiere con el primer grupo o con el segundo grupo? Segundo. Okay. With the second one. Okay. Second. Okay. She doesn't have to open the door if somebody knock it. Oiga. She doesn't have to open the door if somebody knock it. ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Ella no abre la puerta. Ella no, no tiene, no está obligada a abrir la puerta si alguien toca. 
Why? Because there is a sign that said, knock the door and open. Se han fijado que hay unos rotulitos que así dicen, toque y abra. Y alguien no lee el rotulito y va a estar tocando y nadie abre. Yes or no? Said open. Okay, another example. With the fair groups. We don't have to, we don't have to go to the party. We don't have to go to the party. What, what am I saying? ¿Qué, qué estoy diciendo? Ella no está obligada a ir a la fiesta. Okay. Yes, somebody invite me. Somebody invite me. But we don't have to, to go if, if you don't want to go. Okay. Okay, take a look at this. In order to create a question, we are going to do that. Plus the subject, plus F2, and the complement. A la hora de hacer preguntas, voy a usar ya sea do o does, el sujeto. Aquí no va a haber ningún cambio, va a ser have to más el complement. How we are going to do? I have to, you have to. Let me put something here in our doc, you can see it better. For example, the first one is going to be in this way. I have two. The next one could be you have Two. We have two or they have two. I don't know if you got my idea here. No sé si captan la idea. A la hora de hacer la... la, la... Yes, teacher. Okay. I have two, you have two, we have two. Yeah, have two. yeah. but don't forget that you need to put the auxiliary. Necesitamos siempre poner el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, es do I have to? ¿Sí? Do, do you have to? Do we have to? Do they have to? Tienen ellos que? And what oh, about them? In the park. Right? Teacher, no, sir. Eh, sería, does she, does she has? No, no has. No, no. Has, has. Does she has to the shopping? Ojo, aquí le aclaro lo siguiente. Siempre después de la partícula to, el verbo no puede llevar ing. The shop. Ria shop. Aquí, como eso es shop, es, es como se llama acompañado con otro. Ahí lo que hace falta sería das. She has to go shopping. Ahí sí. Go, go shopping. shopping. Go shopping. Has to go shopping. Okay. Aliens, aliens, aliens.
Now you can ask questions each other using do. Okay, let, let, let me start here. Okay, I need that you ask questions yourself. Necesito que ustedes te hagan preguntas referentes a sus trabajos. For example, if I ask you, Astalia, Astalia, do you have to write a report in your job? Do no you? listen, teacher. No listen, uh, repeat, please. Do you have to write a report on your job? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. ¿Qué le pregunté? Que si realicé mis reportes. Que si debe, que si estoy obligada a hacer reportes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that, that, that they have to. Ok, en that way I need that you ask question each other. Así necesito que eh, mencionen el nombre de alguien y le hagan una pregunta referente a alguna actividad en su trabajo. Sí. I don't know who wants to do it. But I need that you think. Piensa, piensa, piensa. Y que sea a, a kind of obligation. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Another question could be, uh, do you have to work a hour per day? Hello? ¿Me comprendieron esa pregunta o no? I don't know. Okay, pero yo necesito que ustedes creen una pregunta y mencionen el nombre de uno de sus compañeros para que él responda. Eso nos va a ayudar en el listening comprehension. Right. Hello. Example, do you have work in a restaurant? Pero ahí, ah, something is missing there. ¿Qué, ¿Qué le falta a la oración? Do you have to? Ok. Do you have to? Do you have to work in a restaurant? Ok. ¿Para quién sería? Ok, pero antes de que le den la respuesta Permítame que los extraterrestres me invadieron acá Entonces Hello. So, I ask you again if you are not going to answer So, please mute your microphone Por respeto a los demás, por favor, tratemos de cerrar los micrófonos. Algunos están usando audífonos y esos sonidos son bastante duros. Entonces, después de que participemos, cerramos. Cuando vamos a participar, and don't forget to raise your hand para que no nos eh, confundamos, levante su manito. Y cuando ya se le dé el pase, usted desactiva su micrófono. Y eh, puede participar. Con gusto le voy a dar el pase. Ok. Ah, ok. Another thing that you need to keep in mind. Otra cosa que necesita mantener en su mente. Es lo siguiente. La pregunta que está haciendo. Eh, sí tiene sentido. Pero. Eh, si vamos a. Ok. 
que Jordana se con. Si vamos a hablar de obligaciones, si lo voy a tomar desde ese punto de vista, ¿cómo, es, cómo, cómo diría la pregunta? Do you remember the concept that I showed you at the beginning? El concepto decía, we use have to to express obligation when something is necessary. Okay, now the question is, la pregunta que hizo es, do you have to work in a restaurant? ¿Tiene usted que trabajar eh, en un restaurante? Maybe, maybe somebody is going to answer, yes, I have. Sí, porque no tengo otro trabajo. Entonces, él se siente obligado a trabajar ahí. That could be in that way, you know. Pero también ahí viene apareciendo el otro. Alguien podría decir, yes, because... I, I need the job. Sí, lo necesito para mis ingresos. Entonces ya no, ya no entraría en obligación, sino en necesidad. Y entonces todavía no hemos llegado hasta ahí, pero es bueno su, su, su oración. Ok, chao, chao. ¿Alguien me dijo teacher por ahí? No sé quién fue. Yes, más? teacher. Eh, sí le entendí la pregunta a ella, solamente que se podría responder también que no, ¿verdad? No hay... I don't have to. Yeah, I don't have to. Porque quiera o no, ahí como que ya no, ya no es una, una restricción. Ok. Ok, este, puedo hacer yo la pregunta. You can, you can, you can do it. Ok, sería... Ana Victoria. Ah, ok, me gusta, sí. Do you have to make phone calls in your job? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have to. Okay. Okay. Ahí a la hora de dar eso en español, a la hora de dar la respuesta ya no vamos a usar el to, sino yes, I have. Ah, pues voy a preguntar yo ahorita, aprovechando. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. Um, Mayra. Uh, Mayra, do you have to um, arrive at 8 o'clock at your work? No sé si la comprendió. Que si necesito entrar a las 8 mi trabajo. Uh -huh. no, no, um, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No confundamos el necesitar con el deber, con el tener. Uh -huh. <ríe> ¿Sí? Sí, sí. Okay. Repeat the question. Repeat the question, please. Do you have to arrive at eight o'clock at your work? Okay. The answer, Mayra. Mm. No sé cómo responder. Eh, realmente en, entro a las seis. ¿Cómo podría responder? Okay, it is very simple. If you are going to answer in a negative way, si va a responder en de forma negativa, uh, you, you can say, uh, no, I have. No, I have. Solamente. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, I have. Oh, yes, I have. In the, in the case, it is positive. Pero creo que nos estamos yendo eh, como muy lejitos ya de... Okay, but somebody wants to create another question. This is just to the, in order that you have an idea. Okay, tell me. Tell me. Mayrita, you. Hola, hello. Karen, no, this is this. Okay, L listen. 
Ojo, ojo acá. Ahí hay algo que les voy a aclarar para que no nos vayamos a confundir. Al momento de hacer esa pregunta, si la pregunta está usando do a la beginning, do you have to? Yes, I do. O no, I don't. Ese lo sería lo correcto. Ahora, si la pregunta comenzara con el have to, eh, ahí fuera diferente. Valga la aclaración. Si la pregunta es, do you have to arrive at eight o'clock in your job? The answer, ¿cómo sería? Acabo de decirlo. Teacher, Hello. I have a question. Ok, antes de eso no sé si me comprendieron lo que acabo de corregir. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Sí. No, I don't. Sí, yeah, yes, yes. Because remember that we are using an auxiliary right here. Estamos usando un auxiliar y el auxiliar que estamos usando es do. Entonces, si yo tengo preguntas con do, la respuesta va a ser yes, I do, o no, I don't. Estas son las llamadas yes, no, question. Instead of use the, this, the, 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 the meaning of this one. Okay, let me show. It's going to be better if I, if I show you again. Okay, if the question is, do you, do you have to arrive at eight o'clock in the morning? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Esa es la forma correcta. Y si fuese con that, that he have to arrive at eight o'clock in the morning? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. That is the correct way. Okay, alguien me iba a decir algo por ahí. And you have it here. It, this is the way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Okay, and we have the, the examples. If somebody asks you, do you have to eat uh, the vegetable? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. This is the way how we are going to answer. Or, for example, does he have to eat the vegetables? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Okay, you can uh, take on a screenshot in order that you can keep in mind. Pueden hacer una captura para poder mantener eso en sus mentes. Preguntas. Preguntas. No. No teacher. Okay. Let me move because of the time. Ok, aquí viene lo que hemos estado esperando, dijo la compañera ahí. Ok, pay attention about this. Need to or don't need to. Ok. Vamos a hacerlo más simple. And I, I was thinking about this. Ok, need to. Necessary or essential. Algo que es necesario o esencial. For example, I need to eat some food. Yo necesito comer algún alimento. Ahí ya no tiene nada que ver que yo tengo que no. Realmente necesito o no necesito. I need to drink some water. I need to do my homework. I need to do my homework. ¿Sí? Okay, try to keep in mind, necessary or essential.
Okay, how you are going to create sentences with this? Okay, it's gonna be very simple too. In affirmative way, what you are going to do is this. With this for one, si ustedes se fijan, estos cuatro siempre andan juntos. Ellos son hermanos. I, you, we, and they. Need to. In this case, he, she, and it, we are going to you add an S. This is called inflection. He needs to. She needs to or it needs to. Example. Who wants to read it? Quien quiere leerlo? Me teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. We need, we need to brush our teeth three times a day. We need to brush our teeth three times a day. Okay. Somebody else can read the next one. Me teacher. She needs to brush her teeth three times a day. Okay, she needs. ¿Por qué le agregamos la S ahí? Tell me the reason why we add the S. ¿Por qué le agregamos la S? It's plural, teacher. No, it's not plural. No. No. Tercera persona. Porque es tercera persona de el singular. Es más de una. Tercera persona del singular. Los plurales están aquí, mire, arriba y no llevan ese el verbo. Se refiere a los pronombres. Ok, let us try it. Tell me. No, profe, era una broma, porque son varios dientes, le digo. <risa> Pero resulta que en la anterior también está el, en plural los dientes. Cierto, cierto. <ríe> no pega. No pega, no pega. No. Ok. Uh, let me see what else do we have here. Ok, this is the negative one. Ok, who wants to read it? This is negative. We are going to use John. For I, you, we, and they, and we are going to use he, she, and it for doesn't. We are going to use doesn't. Example, who wants to read it? Can me lee el ejemplo? Yo, teacher. Okay. We don't we don't need need to eat junk food all the time. We we don't need to eat junk food all the time. If you say que Cas John teacher junk John... food junk foods son alimentos Lo que comúnmente en El Salvador decimos comida en chatarra, es shampoo. Los famosos mataniños que se conocen, teacher. Ok. We don't need to eat junk food. Ahí es, creo que eso de all the time está de más. Pero bueno. Ok, the, the next example. El siguiente ejemplo. She doesn't need to eat junk food all the time. Okay, it is the same. What, what we did here is just to 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 use a, a different uh, personal pronoun. Lo que se hizo fue usar un pronombre diferente para ver la la el inflection cómo funciona. Okay, I don't know if you have any question right right here. Okay, what about interrogative sentences? Teacher, Hello, sir. ¿por qué en sí no lleva la S? Okay, let me go back. 
¿Por qué? Eh, de ese, she doesn't to need. No, ya no lleva la S, la que usted dijo de primero. Aquí. Ajá. Simple. Porque cuando yo estoy usando un auxiliar como tú, entonces que lo, eh, ya el verbo lo esté usando con tercera persona ya no puede llevar ese porque solo puede haber un cambio, no pueden haber dos, no puede decir das de mí. Ya el cambio lo tiene adelante o ya está acá. Ah, uh, ah. Oh. Ok. Copiado, teacher. Excelente. And right here, it is the same. Do I? Do I need to? Does he, she, or it need to? Aquí el cambio solamente es el auxiliar. With this group, con este grupo, we are going to use do. And with this one, we are going to use does. The verb is going to be the same. El verbo será igual. For example, do we need to eat junk food all the time? Let me see. Does she need to eat young food all the time? As you can see here, we use the verb in the same way. Como puede ver acá, el verbo lo usamos de la misma manera. Lo que cambió fue el auxiliar que va al inicio. Yes? Okay, let us practice now because of the time. Let us practice. Okay, order the following sentences. You have three minutes to do it. Do it in your in your notebook and then we are going to share with the rest of the class. Ordenemos las siguientes oraciones. Tienen tres, cuatro minutos para hacerlo. Luego comparamos para ver si hemos ordenado bien porque así aparecen en la plataforma. Okay, do it now, please. Tell me. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, I don't know if somebody of you can write number for each part. No sé si alguien pueda tener acceso a escribir números sobre cada parte. ¿Cuál es uno? One, two, and three. Which one is one, two, and three? Si tenemos más, ¿cuál es uno? ¿Cuál es dos? ¿Cuál es tres? ¿Cuál es cuatro? I don't know if you can do it here at Intento si gusta, Tisha. Ok, let, let us try to do it. Veamos. Veamos. La vez anterior sí vi que pudieron mar, marcar algo, pero no sé. Now? Nah, ¿Es not possible? Mami. No. Okay, who, who wants to tell me the, the order of the phone? 
Aquí sería el 1. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. No, no. Okay, okay. You got the number one. Okay, okay. Okay, number one is you. Wow, I, okay. You have to clean your room. Okay, at the same time, I need that uh, somebody else can write a question. Al mismo tiempo, me gustaría que esa oración alguien la convierta en pregunta. Do you have, have to? Do you have to clean your room? Okay, I need to somebody writing down. Necesito que alguien la escriba. Write down, write down, please. Nadie intenta escribir. Ok, ahí solo se alarga para que quede en una sola línea. You just drop the point and you are going to get that end. Do you have to play your run? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ok. Okay, thank you. Somebody else try to resolve number two and number three. Wow, 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 well done. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little resolve number two, please. Resolvamos la numero dos. Okay, somebody is writing. Do. Mm. Do they have to play football? Okay. If I ask you to switch uh, into positive sentence, si yo le pidiera que me la hagan en positive, ahí está, they have to, uh, no, 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 hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, number three. One is I, two is don't have, and three one. Okay, if you want, uh, let, let me try to move forward. Déjeme ver si me muevo a la siguiente. Ah, ok. Try to erase. Quien escribió, por favor, trate de borrar. Porque siempre me va quedando ahí. Ok, erase, erase, everything, everything. Ok, thank you. Ok, you have number four, five, and six. Do the ditches has to she? Okay, try to jot down in your notebook, please. And then we are going to compare with the rest.
Okay, somebody else wants to resolve number four? You don't need to write it down anything. You just can tell me. No necessariamente escribas. Solo me dice, I'm going to resolve and you are going to tell me the way. Teacher, I'm going to resolve the number four. Okay, tell me, tell, tell us, tell us. Dinos, and dinos. She has to do the dishes. Okay, she has to do the dishes. In positive, what about in question? Si fuese en pregunta, aunque ahí no lo está diciendo. Or... Does she have to do the dishes? Repeat, please. Does she have to do the dishes? Okay. Okay, thank you. Num number five. Me teach. Okay, do it. Does he have to cut the grass? The grass? Does he have to cut the grass? No, no sé cómo se dice grass o grass. Grass is grass. El césped. Okay, the next one. She has to study every day. Okay. Okay. Sí, una, una pregunta, ¿podría como um, usted decir la, la cinco para estar segura que está bien? Es que lo que pasa es que tengo duda y um, escuché una opción, pero creo que no está bien, entonces me he quedado la duda. Ok, does, does he, does he have to cut the grass? Then the question mark is going to be at the end. Remember that you, you have the structure in order to create uh, questions. Por eso es importante tener como la estructura de cómo hago oraciones, cómo hago preguntas. Y luego solo reviso si el orden está bien. Primero comienza con el auxiliar do o does. ¿Sí? Después, sigue, ¿el qué cosa? Sigo con el pronombre, pronombre o subject, ¿ok? Y then, después de eso, el verbo. Sigo con have to. Have to, sí. luego el verbo. Comienzo con auxiliar, después voy con el subject, después voy con have to, después voy con el verbo, porque después de la partícula to debe de ir el verbo, tiene, y luego la acción, cortar el qué, el césped. Entonces sería, does he have to cut the grass? 
¿Sí? ¿O tiene dudas todavía? Eh, no, teacher, ya, ya, me, ya me quedó clara. Es que creo que el, 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 el signo me dio a confusión porque estaba justo. Sí, porque como, usted, si fuera la, como si fuera, sí. lo tuviera que utilizar junto con he. Eso, nada más. Sí. Creo que es el signo de puntuación ahí sí. está. Aquí lo, aquí lo que hizo falta fue la pleca. Ajá, para separar el, porque el punto, para entender como que si esa oración no, fuera la usted, última. Como que si esa fuera la última parte, tiene no, el, ya, el, también el punto. Ya. Yeah. Solo eso era, pero ya me quedó claro, gracias. Ok, ok, no problem. Ok, number six. Number six. Me, Tisha. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. She has to study every day. Okay, she has to positive. study in positive. In, in question. In question. Does she, does she has to study every day? Repeat again. Does she? Okay. Has to. Será que, aquí, será que aquí se va a mantener o va a cambiar? Have to. Ah, porque ya tengo el das. El das, yes. Ah, ok, perfecto. Have to study every day. Ok. Ok, let me move forward because of the time. Las cositas. Ok. Ok, hold on a second. What could complete with have to or have to? Then have to or doesn't have to. In this example, uh, Sara study half for the exam. Okay, which one? I already show you this one. Sara has to study hard for the exam. Okay, the next one you are going to resolve. La siguiente la resuelven ustedes. Okay, David, clean his room. Which one is the right one? ¿Cuál es el correcto? Dime, dime, dime. Hurry up, hurry up. Has to. Okay, let me see. Let me see if it is the right one. Okay, David has to clean his room. Okay, perfect. Number three, somebody else. Have to. I have to put. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Okay. Number four. Cut to. Let me see. Has to. Okay, Andres has to play football after class. Number five. Has to. You have to make your bed every day. Okay, ahora, uh, now I need that uh, some of you read the sentences. Ahora necesito que algunos de ustedes lean estas oraciones. Do it, please. Hello. Sara has to study hard for the exam. Okay, Sara has to study, study hard. Okay, next one. Siguiente. Me, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. David has to clean his room. Okay, David has to clean his room. Thank you. Next, number three. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Okay, perfect. I have to cut the grass every Sunday. Thank you. Number I have four. To cut. 
Number four, number four. Number four, please. Andres has to, to play football after class. Okay. Number five. You have to make your bed every day. Okay, you have to make your bed every day. Perfect. Let us move. Okay, what about number six? It's negative. She go to school on Saturday. Negative, negative. Who wants to do it? Me, Tisha. Okay, do it, do it, do it. She doesn't go to She doesn't have Finish. to ah, go okay. to school on Saturday. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, she doesn't have to go to school on Saturday. Okay, number seven. Number seven, number seven. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. I don't have brush my thing every day. Something is something is missing there. Que falta? I don't have to. Okay, I don't I don't have. Ah, but in this case it's not negative. Cuando diga negative, aquí en el paréntesis va a ser negativa, pero en este caso no hay negación. Uh, a, I have to brush my thing every day. My teeth, teeth. 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 Esta es una Z, teeth. Teeth. Okay, number eight, somebody else, alguien más. Number eight, please. You don't have to do the dishes. Okay, it's a negative. You, you don't have to do the dishes. Okay, perfect, number nine. It's negative too. He doesn't have to make his bed in the morning. Okay, perfect. What about this one? I don't know if you are, uh, if you have a skill uh, in order to, to play a game, maybe your cell phone. Or something like that. There uh, is necessary that you use the verb that we have studied. En español y a colores. Si usted necesita explicar cómo jugar un juego en su teléfono. ¿Cómo lo haría usando have to o need to? No lo escribamos, solo tell me if you have the ideas with you. Claro, eso nos puede responder alguien que tenga la habilidad de, de hacerlo, ¿no? Va. If you don't have the skill to do it, don't worry about it. Tell me. 
¿Cómo sería? No hay guía. Repeat question, teacher. The question is explain how to play a game. How to play a game. I have played the game teacher. In your cell phone, for example, if you want to play, uh, well, I don't know the name of the, of, the, of the most popular video games right now, but pero usando el, el have to o el need to. Okay, somebody could start saying, okay, if you want to play a video game in your cell phone, the first thing that you need to do, lo primero que necesitas hacer, uh -huh, ¿qué será? No hay día. Bueno, ahí le preguntan a sus hijos mañana, pasado. They had to download the app. Ellos deben de descargar la aplicación. ¿Sí? ¿Qué más? Registrarse, teacher. Ah, ok, pero, pero usando los, los verbos que estamos estudiando. Ay. ¿Sí? Bueno, como que a los juegos no le hacemos mucho, ¿cierto? No, teacher. Bueno, vamos a entender. We have to play. Le vamos, a, vamos a entenderle esa parte, ¿vale? Ok, estamos perfecto. Okay, let us finish with this activity then. Veamos que comprendimos entonces. Okay, let me see if you can do it. No. Okay, try to open this link. Let me know if you can open it. Avíseme si puede abrirlo. Okay, si se puede. Vic is there. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. I got only nine, so I think we're moving in. Let me see how many people do I have here. I don't know the restaurant, I'll see if it passes. Because it's just time I'm going to open it now. For the time we have, I'm going to give access to it. 
El resto se puede agregar cuando quiera. Ok, read carefully, please. Okay, do it, do it, do it. <clears throat> Okay, I can only add three with camera on. <clears throat> Solo tengo tres con cámara encendida. El resto suponemos que por la actividad. Este teacher, yo me está fallando el, el internet. Y okay, se okay, me okay. Por eso no me Okay, se, me okay no problem, no problem. Okay, you need to read carefully, you need to read carefully. Necesitan leer cuidadosamente. Porque hay muchas opciones parecidas, pero lo que cambia es mínimo.
Okay, close to the time. Um, you can finish if you want. If not, you can make an stop here. It's up to you if you want to finish. Hello, hello. No, teacher. Bueno, ahí es opcional si ustedes quieren finalizarlo. Porque ya estamos casi a la hora. Bueno, de hecho ya Carlos ha finalizado. Vicky, uh, Ismael, Mayra. Alejandro todavía le falta. Ingrid. Emerson, Melanie. Okay, I guess it's time. Time is over. Time is over. If you want to finish, you can do it. Okay, sometimes it's it really difficult to, to get the right one because we need to be really, really, really careful. En este caso, este tipo de ejercicio es para como verificar qué tan cuidadosa o cuidadoso es usted. Porque solamente es una cosa mínima la diferencia entre una y otra. Entonces ahí nuestro cerebro tiene que estar eh, acoplado a la estructura de cada tipo de oración. Ok, thank you. I don't know. Any question, any comment about the, the activity? If not, I'm going to check out the attendance. O todavía están en el juego. No, tissue. No yet, okay, I'm going to finish. Yes. Vamos a finalizarlo entonces. And I got the result in the first place, Carlos. Congratulations, Carlos. Vicky in the second one and Ismail in the third one. Ismail in the third lugar. Y tuvimos un uh, 50... 9%. Wow, Carlos solo se equivocó en una nada más. Lo mismo Vicky. I got the result. I got the result. Okay. Fue difícil. ¿O qué pasó? Sí. Cuente. Así, in a hurry, in Spanish. If you want to tell me, you can tell me in Spanish. Era un poco confuso porque ah, eran okay. parecidas las. Sí. Todas las respuestas. 
Sí, ahí lo que se necesitaba era un buen ojo para y mantener la estructura en la mente, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Porque solamente es una letra o dos letras la diferencia entre una y otra. Sí, bien parecida. <ríe> y de tan fácil que estaba, dicen los chicos en la universidad, que salimos mal. Así sucede. But don't worry, it's just an exercise. Es solo es un ejercicio para aprender a discriminar la respuesta que es correcta. Bueno, el resto no lo veo tan ocupado, gente. So, ok, I'm going to... Ok, Alejandra. Ana Victoria. Sí, present. Ok, Azalia. Present teacher. Brenda. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Natalie. Natalie. ¿La vi o no la vi a Natalie? Ahora no me Okay. Um, Carlos is there too. Diana. Yes, I Okay, edit, edit. Step two. Emerson. Hey, here, teacher. Good night. Okay, Emerson is there. Emerson, you are number nine. Uh, that means that this is the, the night class. At the end, you had 10 minutes in order to ask questions related with different topics that we have started. I hope to see you at the end. Usted es el número 9, le corresponden los 10 minutos de la tutoría al final. Así que espero verlo al final de la sesión. Uh, Francisco. Present. Okay, Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ismael. Present, teacher. José Alejandro. Hey, present teacher. Julia. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Okay, Sandra y Beth. Sonia Esmeralda. No, ninguna de las dos. Okay. Thank you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye, Asalia. Take care. Any question? Any question? I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No? No question? Okay. Se le mutió su micrófono, pero me dijo no. Bye-bye. Okay, see you. <laughs> don't worry about it. Good night. Bye.